Hey everybody, thought I'd take the video approach here to uh, relay an email that I got this morning. Some of you saw on Facebook and Twitter, but uh, I thought a, a bit more of a response was warranted and don't feel like writing an article, so we'll see if this works. Uh, for those who aren't aware, we are putting up a billboard, and probably by the time you watch this it's already up, in Orem off of the I-15, and it's one which points visitors to a website uh, which is warlikepeople.com. And it asks the question, why did Spencer W. Kimball, who was a prophet, president of the church, why did he say that we, Latter-day Saints, are a warlike people? So the website, warlikepeople.com, has his address where he said that, an excerpt, and then it links over to the full thing, and then many other messages from prophets and apostles as well, along with scriptures that uh, touch on the subject of opposition to war and the promotion of peace. So uh, this is a, an interesting uh, address. It was a scathing rebuke, in my view, of the Latter-day Saints at the time uh, by a sitting prophet in June of 1976 when this came out. To frame the context, this was about 200 years almost exactly after the Declaration of Independence was passed. So this was uh, President Kimball making an assessment of where things stand and how uh, the saints at the time uh, were behaving and how they should change. And uh, so we wanted to highlight that. And because we find a lot of application, those of us who uh, sponsored and, and funded this project, a lot of application to our, uh, our own day, that many of the saints seem to support military solutions way too readily and uh, in circumstances that are repugnant to the commandments of God, uh, in cases where military action and war is not justified. So uh, some news articles have come up. The billboard goes up Friday, uh, and some news articles have already come out, so we've gotten some response already. And one of the emails I got this morning was from a uh, reader of one of these articles, I presume, who found the website and emailed to say that, don't you know that contention is of the devil? What you're doing is contentious. And I didn't want to laugh, but I did, because I find it so absurd to claim that promoting war, promoting peace, excuse me, and opposing war, war being contention, is itself contentious. How is it contentious to point to the words of prophets, both ancient and modern, to let them speak for themselves on this issue that we've compiled their, their, uh, their words on this subject? How is it contentious to point to that to perhaps suggest uh, subtly or, or indirectly at times that these uh, messages have application in our day? How is that contentious? Uh, I, I question whether the the email the person who emailed is not just masking their opposition to what was being said, that they are one of the ones who uh, are guilty of exactly what President Kimball said, of being a warlike people, of, as he says in the address, being idolatrous in supporting gods of stone and steel, military and missiles and things of the like. It's really interesting to read Hugh Nibley in a uh, very prominent LDS scholar who some years after this address was given by President Kimball uh, made the assessment that the saints had largely ignored what he said. Uh, what Hugh Nibley calls it is that the saints gave it the quote, instant deep freeze. And what he meant by that was that there was no discussion, there was no controversy, there was no change or repentance. Uh, the saints basically just ignored this stinging indictment from a prophet of how they were behaving. And they continue to this day at large, to support war, um, and to not, as DNC 98 says, renounce war and proclaim peace. So this was a stinging rebuke, but Hugh Nibley observed that the saints largely ignored it, and, and if that talk was indeed given the instant deep freeze back in 1976, the idea behind our project is to thaw that freeze out a little bit, to bring it back to the forefront uh, of some of the Latter-day Saints' minds to generate discussion and say, are we uh, does this still apply to us? Are we still a warlike people? And if so, what did President Kimball suggest that we need to do to change that? So it, it's really interesting uh, to see people claim that that is contentious. And, uh, you know, calling people to repentance, is that a contentious activity? Numerous prophets, ancient and modern, have done exactly that. Um, and not in a contentious manner, not angry and frothing at the mouth, but humbly and sincerely uh, giving an assessment of, of someone's behavior and then uh, making a determination and a suggestion of what needs to be done to change it, to become more in tune with the gospel of Jesus Christ. So really to claim that that's contentious is, is misguided because prophets, Jesus Christ himself, 
uh, rebuke people from time to time. And, and we don't feel that we're calling people to repentance or that we are doing the rebuking. We're trying to let the prophets speak for themselves. Uh, we do believe that there is an inconsistency between what many members support and what the leaders of their church, our church, have said. Uh, by simply pointing out that inconsistency that we see, we don't feel that we ourselves are calling them to repentance. We are saying, trying to reason together with them and say, let's look at this, let's look at what you know many people support, where's the inconsistency and how can we improve? So it's really misguided to say that that's contentious. None of us are angry. We're very peace-loving uh, people. Uh, those of us who have, have sponsored and funded this project. So really that, that person who emailed has no clue what they're talking about. They are in fact wrong because those who uh, are guilty of what President Kimball said are the ones who are being contentious by supporting war, by uh, advocating for policies that, that harm and kill innocent people around the world uh, through the efforts of, of what our military is doing. That is what we're trying to counteract. We're trying to counteract contention. So you can uh, read President Kimball's address and many more like it at warlikepeople.com and uh, be sure and share it with your friends. We're, we're currently fundraising to get a second month of the billboard. We've paid for one month through all of your generous contributions. So if you'd like to see the message stay up, perhaps move it to a different location, we'll see what we do. Uh, please donate and encourage others to do the same. Thanks.